Welcome back to the channel for a special edition of Break 40. I am up in Ayrshire in Scotland. We're at Championship Links. It is Dundonald Links. This is Break 40. Quite simply, can I play nine holes in 40 shots or less? We shall see. Now, before we get this video started, I just want a quick rundown on what the clubs are in my bag for today's challenge. And this time, starting with driver, that is the TaylorMade Stealth 2 HD. I've then got a 5-wood from PXG Gen 6, a Gen 6 Hybrid, which is a number 4. Then I've got Gen 6 Irons, which are 6 through to Pitching Wedge. I then have a Sugar Daddy 2 Wedge, 54 degrees. Finally, or last but not least maybe, my 60 degree tailor-made high toe wedge. And finally is the Mez Putter. Here we go, hole one, 410, straight down. Aiming for a little bit of a cut off that bunker that is uh, hidden by my back. And um, yeah, it wasn't a bad start to be honest with you. Knew that I couldn't reach, but it still leaves a fair bit in. Uh, just over 190 yards, so that made it, what, a 220 drive. All carry because there's no roll, these fairways have been sanded, and it's the 40 hours of rain. Anyway, real good pick up. I'm slightly blinded by where the flag is, but I've got a feeling that's right on it. It just depends whether or not the distance is right, but um, a second swing of the day, I've got to be happy with that. As you can see, it came up short and um, again, pitched and stopped. Now it's about can you get the pace after, like I said, a deluge of rain over the past two days? And the answer is no, I couldn't. And uh, this is not what you want to be faced with on um, the first hole of the day, which is probably best part of eight, nine foot to save par. Do you know, at times it looks as though there's several takes on this because I can't believe how many of them I hole actually on video. But trust me, that's a real positive swing and a, uh, a decent start with a four. Great golf hole, left to right shape. If you can, yeah, make that ball work in your favour, because this is, like I said, dog leg left to right. Only short, but position is key. Two fairway bunkers right in the middle of the fairway. I managed to go over the top of them. And you can see again, just a little bit of sand in here just to uh, absorb the moisture. I've still got a seven iron in. It was a little bit bottom groovy, but um, not a bad strike to be fair. The main thing was it was um, it was on the short stuff, but still a long way from the flag. Did I learn from the first putt that we just needed to give these a little bit more effort in terms of pace? Yes, I did, but didn't get the line quite right. However, we should be able to tap this one in. For another par so a decent start after um well two decent swings with driver let's see if we can carry that on this is a par 5 510 yards rain has just started to fall again as you can see and this is just about going pretty much down the middle it cut a little bit more perhaps than i'd want it to because we can't quite see it from here but alongside the right is a burn there it is and uh, yeah i didn't want to get any close to that it's a difficult one, five wood. Um, I'm aiming for the green gorse, which again, I've got a yardage on. I know I can't reach. And to be honest, it's a really good shot because this burn runs right the way across the angle there go, and it appears again. So you've got to be really careful in the way you plot your way through this hole. But with the rain coming down, I still had a seven iron in and uh, really liked this shot, controlled it really well. Um, bit of a punch shot again into the wind but this green is so so tough and with that pin where it is um, yes I am on the wrong level so up the hill it goes and then once it reaches there it releases down and swings at the same time and I've got to say really pleased with that um, watching back I can't believe sort of how casual I do roll these things in because they're a bit further than you would like them to be in terms of being comfortable anyway it's another par and uh, a decent start. That's a look back down that hole, which is um, that's a super par five. Anyway, next up, par three, into the breeze. Again, solid strike. It's 175, but I would guess playing more like sort of 190. And um, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm finding greens in reg, but uh, I'm not getting near to pins, but that's better than not finding greens, I suppose. So the Mez putter, bit of a roll good roll at this one and you can see that break off the greens are very very good here at dundonald links and um 
You've got to be on your game and switched on at all times because the brakes are there. Some are subtle, some are severe. Anyway, hole five, driving the ball really well. Follow on from the round at Presswick, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, couldn't be hitting the ball any better. Now this is a uh, so second shot in. This is reaching for that PXG five wood. Really confident with this at the minute. Ten side blue shaft in it, 55 stiff and uh, able to give it a good old dig. And really, it's only about getting into position, of which I was in a good one. The flag is hidden away. I'm just going to pause that for a second. And if we can uh, look at the railway line, you'll see that uh, the sort of left of the centre railway stanchion there is uh, where the flag is hidden. It's in a dip and a bit of a bowl. And I tried to get clever and grip down a little bit on a hybrid and tried to sort of punch one in really unsure on the yardage and all I did was cut right across it and tried to be too clever to be quite honest with you and I uh, just wished I'd have played a six iron <laughs> anyway um, it didn't leave a bad position to this flag because this green is severe and the pin is in not a bad place as to where they can have it and this to be honest with you is the kind of shot I love to try and play it was a really controlled wedge pitch it off the bank and camber in and uh, yeah I was really I spoke to my wife who was on camera and uh, yeah I was pretty chuffed with that I think even she said it was a good shot so not on in reg but we have got a chance of salvaging a par and we did and I was really happy that was a because um, I'd struck the ball well one bad shot there would have cost me but anyway super par three now this just 135 yards Burn down the left, bunker on the left. Flag is centre of the green, but just over the bunker. You've got no real option on here. There's no bailout. You've got to take it on and in the air. This, trust me, is right on the flag. I'm holding a pose and uh, it just pitched and stopped and it needed an extra yard to kick down towards the hole. So how good does that place look though? Bit of sunshine out now. It's so, so nice, but yellow on the gorse. But more importantly, what happens with the putt? Bend of the knee, that ain't going to help you. And it uh, slid by. It was a good effort. But again, we're racking up pars here. And at this stage, uh, things are going very, very well indeed. Right, next hole, um, hole seven, 370 yards. That driver, once again, hit the shape. This is a bit, a, a slight right to left. But what I've done is definitely overcooked it there. Um, even though it's not a bad area to land in, it could be a lot worse, obviously. Um, from memory, I still had sort of 150 in. And I tried this sort of punch shot that I played the seven iron earlier on in the round, and it's just a very controlled, again, that ball flight is really good into the breeze. And uh, just anywhere on the green would have been good. I think, yeah, it, it landed um, sort of higher up that bank and made its way back down. We're not a lot of green to work with. It's a pitching wedge back of the stance and sort of shove it up the green. And, um, you know, I can't tell you, them, them kind of shots I just love because, um, yeah, it's a bit of, you've got to make something happen with it. And yeah, you guessed it. Yeah, I mean, I almost feel guilty watching these back because I'm rolling a lot of putts, I'm saving par. That was an up and down, don't forget. And we are still level par through eight holes. Um, I'm not really aware of that at the moment because we are filming some other bits and pieces as we go, um, hence my wife being out. So, um, But on this one, I love this golf hole. And although I hit the ball a long way, I did hoik it a bit to the left. The big thing about this time of year is that the, the rough isn't up. I don't think you'll be playing this kind of shot in a month or two's time. But again, what's nice to see is just that shot out of there was... And my irons were, were really good today. Pin high, anywhere on the green I would have taken from back there. And uh, we've got, it's an outside chance of a birdie, I suppose. But we've got the pace by now, rolling the putter quite nice and freely. And it's a fairly straightforward par. And at this stage, I'm level through eight. We've got one hole to go. I don't think I've ever, certainly not broken par. I'm not sure even whether I've managed to get par on nine holes on the channel as yet so it's a par four it's 360 yards and uh what have we got with the driver first of all just a 
real solid drive. Again, it's just, um, it, it's worked really well. This Stealth 2 HD at the moment, really favorable drive. It went a long way down, trust me. Uh, into what is, that's the new clubhouse on the right, you can see, which is incredible. Got more for that in the next few days. At a pitch wedge in hand, I only had 106. It was a lovely controlled shot. There's a burn that runs right in front of the green, so you can't be short. But you also can't be long because there's some big runoffs, as you'd expect from all these greens on these well-designed Scottish golf courses. And um, yeah, it's just about getting the yardage right and being somewhere on. It's a relatively big green, mind. This one's downhill, um, which we've not had too many of them. And whilst it'd be nice to finish with a birdie, it was perhaps a little bit bold um, in terms of where I'd like to have been. And that one literally fell in the back door and could have ended, uh, I don't think I perhaps realised, like I said, quite what was going on in terms of uh, the finish of the round there. I didn't realise at the time that was to finish level par through nine holes, which is an absolute blinding result for me on a personal level. And because of that, I carried on filming on the back nine in what is going to be part two of this video. And the big question is, is can I continue to play this golf? Will the short game keep on saving me? And can I get somewhere near level par for 18 holes at Dundonald Links? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's make sure you tune into part two. Right, thank you for watching this one. Uh, we've got some positive feedback on these videos so far. It basically allows me to play nine holes with not too great interference from the camera and I'm not holding groups up and uh, stopping and chatting and whatnot and uh, you get to see me play a little bit of real golf, I suppose. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Leave me some comments and feedback down below and I will see you all tomorrow night for part two.